Hi guys, so I had been promising long since I'd had surgeries and a bunch of um, other things that I would do a reading on Putin and Ukraine. And I want to take a look at, frankly, from the point of view of Ukraine and will they get Putin and the Russian invasion <laughs> invading um, forces out. Will this come to a conclusion for them that will finally, because it's, it will stop. At some point, it's going to stop. Okay. And by the way, happy Mother's Day um, when I'm releasing this uh, tomorrow. Sunday is Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Another reason, because so many children are sent to fight these wars that nobody should be dying for. It's not worth it. And this is definitely the most wars are not worth dying for. All right, and by the way, if you hear my wound back, I don't have gas. Okay. Anyway. So this, I'm reason I'm shuffling so long is because this is a new deck. Um, it is called Oh gosh, tarot guidebook. That's all it says that goes with it. But it's like paper. Um, it's it's paper arts. But you'll see it here. This is what the. Oh, you can't see it now. I forgot with this setting on uh, Zoom. I'm using Zoom to record this. I think I'll go back to. Uh, StreamYard. Okay. Let's see what I get. What do we need to know? Uh, and I ask Spirit, my guides and mentors, ancestors, and the one divine, creating, loving being that has many names is divine love and creator. The most high. Okay, what I want to know is how will Ukraine fare? Will they get Russia out of their uh, land? and be victorious and or how is this going to go for them i want to look and see cards from their point of view will they get russia out will the ukraine be well not the but will ukraine be victory victorious in Having Russia leave. Okay, I'm getting the Page of Wands. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot with this thing. You know what? Okay, well, I'll just... Getting the Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. And strength, which is good. That's and the eight of wands. So I think, though, with the two of of um, pentacles juggling back and forth, and with this page of wands energy, this hitting you know at e each other. And, and 
<clears throat> their efforts are going to prevail that they being Ukraine, in my opinion, because I am getting a card that speaks of enduring <clears throat> and using more thought, more care, and one's response to things with the strength card. Um, you don't just shoot from the hip. Literally, you, you respond with more measure. Um, you don't just you're not reckless, that's for sure. And with the Eight of Wands, this speaks of a building energy, an, an energy that is accelerating, and it, it is connected to strength, which to me is that Ukraine will overcome. Ah, such a shame. Let me see if I can just put this on pause. There we go. Sorted it. <clears throat> so Ukraine is getting strength here and the eight of wands at the end of the day. So it really does feel like it's going to go back and forth. But if we pull back and look at the situation from um, a greater vantage point of, of perspective, they will, I think, definitely with that card. I was just studying that card earlier. I like to do that from time to time, just like really kind of go deep diving into the symbolism, the symbolism of, of the tarot and um, refresh myself. And if you guys are interested in me ever doing that, creating a little quick video where I'm doing that and I'm just, let me know. That sounds interesting as well. Anyway, because um, at least you guys too, if you're interested, you who are beginning to learn the tarot and, and who have been doing it for a long time might find it interesting. I don't know. Anyway, with Putin, <clears throat> ooh, and I, I see the Five of Swords has made its way in here. And look at this. This is a new deck, and it looks like even a, like someone that's in a military uniform, like with a helmet on. Now, the Five of Swords is typically about difficulty and, and um, someone that is an antagonizer. And boy, that is the truth. And then, oh my gosh, and then we get that thief card of the Seven of um, Swords. This, to me, is the Russian oppression of their land and their people they don't belong there this is just flexing <clears throat> and it's cold-hearted um, there is theft with the seven of swords you know they're everyone knows that what isn't nailed down that they take the russian military that are coming through and you know, killing and destroying things. So with this Five of Swords, I feel like the light has shifted onto that oppressive bully that's in your neighborhood. And usually that this is the card of that person, but this to me, because of the nature in which we're reading of between Ukraine and Russia and how it falls just right after speaking of the, the resilience and the fortitude and the flourishing, continued flourishing and quickening um, of their ability to re retain it, their resilience is, in my opinion, even in the colors of this card are yellow and blue primarily. 
of Ukraine. And this is very dark and ominous and oppressive and definitely the Russian invading forces. Um, we get the Six of Cups. Oh my gosh. And we get Death. And the other card I got was the Eight of Swords. So let me just pull one more because I, I like to do pairs. This is a really neat deck. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. She's holding the Sunflower, but she is the Eight of Swords. This is, well, <clears throat> this goes back to the past. This goes back to children. This, is, we get the card of death. Um, and most certainly many children have died. This has been going on for, unfortunately, for years. So there is a past that is involved that would affect children and childhood. Um, but this death card also speaks to an end of the past, an end of, um, I think, how it, it were any kind of um, po positive association was you know it's completely and utterly changed it there's there is an ending a real break from the past and it has to do with all the death and especially upon children i feel like it, they've they have um targeted deliberately targeted civilians and you know there's no doubt about it we have the eight of swords which is feeling stuck and that is something true that ukraine has felt and to me the queen of wands is ukraine in feeling stuck about how to kind of extract oneself out of the situation or to change the situation um, because it's they invaded their home so let's see what else we get because I, I do feel like the first few cards were giving me and this is typically what happens when i read the cards those first few cards tend to like kind of give the basic answer and then the cards that i pull continue to kind of clarify or advance or flesh out a little bit more about what is going on around this. So that's accurate for sure. The Ten of Swords, this is like an ending, but it is like after such great loss and, and um, a lot of painful um, being drained, you know, it, 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 something of, of great considerable nature yes and we get the seven of wands so again i feel that even after uh getting the cards that i feel are connected to very much to even though ukraine feels stuck that they will persist they will endure they will endure great losses unfortunately and they already have but we know realistically that until this thing is over that is what is going to happen however um i do see a very hopeful card here once again with kind of the the kind of versing the the, the little one that versus the giant you know david versus goliath um the seven of wands saying though you have a formidable uh challenge and not just one challenge but often a series of challenges are depicted in this card but in this case this person is just going uphill and it's giving you that kind of a, an understanding again these cards are really beautiful paper art to depict and i will get the the name of this deck to you later 
in the and put it in this description box. I promise I won't forget, but I will get it in there as soon as I can once I get this video up. So anywho, um, two of a ten of swords and and the the ten of swords also promises that after a very uh, tough, draining cycle, you there's there's something gives and there's a new dawn there's a new day there's a sunrise that comes up after the storm and it's like an exhaustion of energy and i'm sure that they will be feeling exhausted but i think both um russia and ukraine will have that exhaustion It's just, a, you know, Russia does half the job for Ukraine by shooting their own people and, and planes and making mistakes that are disastrous. It's just Keystone Cops, but it's, it, it anyway. So, again, I get a message repeatedly of though this is a very difficult struggle for ukraine they will persevere and um they will be able to handle this much with i think that eight of wands is the assistance of people sending different like arms and things for them um to help to do this because if they don't keep these guys in check it really, I don't, I just can't understand how people don't, through any kind of respect for history and common sense, be able to put aside, and that's, but that's part of what is a problem right now in, in the, the time that we're living in, is that people want to hold on to their, their fantasies, rather than step back and be more objective. There's, a, there's so much attachment to points of view. And I, I, of course there is, but I mean, the intolerance is difficult. And I will say though, it is very difficult to be tolerant of ignorance and willful ignorance. Um, and if you are more the fool you, there's a point where you, you just, you don't. Anyway off my soapbox let's let's continue looking at the next cards this looks like abraham lincoln um we get the magician and i i think it is because it's kind of the same kind of um jacket bow tie the the hat wait till you see it's quite beautiful make sure these cards have a matte finish so they they don't stick but they can kind of hide together this looks good, the Magician and the Ten of Cups. And like I said, I am looking at this from Ukraine's point of view. So the Magician, I feel like is the actions taken to manifest what they needed to do to set things in motion. And the Ten of Cups, I feel like it's the leadership. And I think the various people that um, seek to you know, protect the people and the populace. There's an effort that they're engaged in, and I think they manifest it. There's a lot of, uh, with this card, you know, the Ten of Cups, this is also speaking very much to the emotional level of look at that multiple generations and the magician and having being able to have the charisma and to inspire um i think the nation itself not only the leadership with zelensky uh, um and various other people because it's not just him doing it he he has to have a very good team of people and it sounds like they keep a close uh as they should uh, watch on who is close to him and they have pre prevented many 
assassin, assassination attempts um, here recently, they've said getting rid of some people. But anyhow, I feel like this is a message of a promise to Ukraine that they will make this through. They've got what it takes and they will get what it takes. Um, and they're through the, the, the sheer will with the, the magician of manifesting anew. I, I feel like they are able to bring back at least the, the, their country under their command and start to address, I think, multi-generational issues from this conflict, uh, what it's done to the economy, the psyche, so on and so forth. A few more cards, the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So this is interesting. There could be a standstill at some point, you won't believe it, but with the aid, the Ace of Pentacles is usually like uh, material goods and money, food, products, life, earthly, material realm. And we have the Two of Swords. Something isn't isn't moving. There needs to be a choice. Somebody needs to get going. There's there's maybe the economy is is stalled. Um, let me just see. I was just thinking about Russia, um, and I'm sure it would be. There's looking at a decision. I think where our economy work money comes in and an opportunity so that they can so that they can begin to i think heal and and get back on their feet and it could be that you know they're going to need um some help and we can we can all pitch in they're, everybody needs to quit their bitching uh, we all just need to pitch in and um, they'll get their help them out. They're doing us all a big favor and help them to rebuild their country. So that kind of feels like maybe aid. Here we get temperance. So it is speaking about, yeah, and leadership. The tinkering together of kind of alchemy in the sense of, of the right elements, a little of this, a little of that. Uh, finding the the right what would you call it the the right balance and it 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 is in a variety of of elements and different this and that so to me the leadership there is seeking very actively or will be to bring balance and bring balance to the country. So I, I, I see this as um, very positive for Ukraine, despite all the, the darkness that they're dealing with, that at the end of the day, they're gonna come out with getting their country back going and on their feet. Here's the chariot. And the four of pentacles stability economy work jobs <clears throat> and i think eventually it will pick up with that chariot and and have stability but you know it, it's going to take work and, and it's going to they are going to need some help and I, but i see them doing it uh, Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. To 
me this feels like military intelligence. And the Four of Wands, homeland and, and domestic home. And the Page of Cups. It's like children and, and the home. I, I just feel like maybe it's saying that uh, then finally uh, some of these people that have had to fight are able to settle back into a life of where they've got their home and their family and maybe children here um, with this page of cups that they're dealing with and it's more lighthearted most definitely with that page of cups and the kind of this card that looks like marriage and kind of the domestic energy of the country so i'm very pleased to see that that's what's coming for them. But, you know, it does show they, they're undergoing tremendous hardship with the Ten of Swords and cards like that that had come up. Um, and it does show that they do have <clears throat> good quality leadership, despite whatever you might think about Zelensky. I don't really care. Um, I think no matter what, he must be doing one heck of a job. Uh, and... I'm a firm believer in never putting people on a pedestal because that's an that's expecting perfection out of flawed human beings and that's just not realistic. But um, I respect him tremendously and uh, what he's been up against and I think he will continue to have good people around him. It looks like they will finally eventually come out of this. <clears throat> and though there might be some delay in, in people sending aid, as usual, it's, it's constantly pulling teeth, it looks like, to get people to help them out, especially after they're done um, with Russia. People aren't going to want to know, well, now it's not a problem anymore. Um, also get the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. So at the same time, you know, you might get your wish that there is an ending to a war, but you have a tremendous burden um, to carry yet and, and baggage that is left over that needs to be repaired and thrown away and sorted out. There's a lot to unpack, if you will, both... <clears throat> emotionally, mentally, physically in the environment and create, recreating their society. <clears throat> Pardon me. A lot of blooming going on out here in California, Northern California. We get the Eight of Pentacles in the world. So again, I feel like eventually they will really step up in their skills and specialities. Um, they will have something as a nation that uh, they become a, a world player, um, n not for nothing. And they do it on their own uh, graft and blood with just our material help um, primarily via weaponry and and finances but there are people that do go over there and and fight um from great britain and and america and have died so if you think that it's just their problem you're wrong it's really we don't live in a vacuum we're all connected it's all connected let me just see. I'll pull another. Oh, Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. And then there is a very deliberate, slow effort, focus, but there's a with a great deal of heart, um, I think, to repair and build and um, cre recreate their nation. It just feels very much 
uh, like getting on to to heal and create a, an environment once again a society and there's a great deal of emotions you can see with the ace of cups overflowing um, into this adventure i think it's also making sure that this is put in down a uh, kept uh, archived so that the truth because everything now these days and this time again is also that people are trying to say that facts can be subjective and it's like mm. you know there's like no some things just are not <laughs> the nine of pentacles i can't help it and the five of pentacles so I think there is going to be help for people that have just been left absolutely devastated. Um, that Nine of Pentacles is people th that ha come from, in my opinion, a, a comfort. And then we're shown a very opposite card that speaks of the Five of Pentacles, which is people who may be homeless or they've lost everything so on and so forth that are really on hard times might be wounded disabled i wonder is this going to be some sort of um aid from people that have the the ability to help those that have been left injured and and so forth without homes and that goes all the way to children and there's so many ways that it's impacted their lives um we have the king of king of pentacles which this is zelensky for me and we have the queen of swords so we have truth and facts. Interesting that I should get her when I was just talking about how I felt that with the five of pentacles and, um, or actually the knight of pentacles and the ace of cups, it just feels like they're going to be really like, I just feel like making sure that this goes down for the record, that there's no funny business of what went on during this war uh, the, the i think it's going to be studied and there's going to be so much more that comes out which isn't terribly surprising but to me this is almost like sophia um wisdom and clarity and uh, I don't know if this is a, a feminine energy that he's uh, just kind of taking, uh, being influenced by, maybe by an actual person that's in his group. Um, but I would say that if that is the case, they are doing a good, she's doing a good job. It's no nonsense and it's keeping to facts and, um, being clear and truthful. The Queen of Swords has a great dislike of injustice. We get the Three of Pentacles, small groups working together, and the Moon. Now this looks like clandestine groups. people that either had to go in hiding or people that are up to no good. We get the tower and the seven of cups. Their dreams and fantasy delusions are dashed. That's totally Putin because he, he promotes this dream world that is not at all. This even looks like a Russian um, uh, building per se in some ways, but um, to me that is just like 
especially because of the way he's brainwashed, unfortunately, so many of his of the people in his nation. I think this mask falling off is gonna is gonna come. It will topple. The Knight of Swords, the lovers. There's some kind of quick responding partnership, people working together and fast acting. And we get the Hierophant. I wonder if this has anything to do through like, um, and the Ace of Wands. Well, I don't know if they're using like um, the Orthodox, it reminds me of an Orthodox, and I know that they're not the most, shall we say, up and up, the Russian Orthodox that are in Kremlin loyalties. But it's giving me that vibe and it's giving me like they are there's something going to come out again about their partnership with him their support that they uh, supporting him i feel like they it's like they're supporting some sort of action It, and it just feels like it looks, they are affirming their, uh, it's like connection. All right. We get the sun and the queen of cups. Well, I just sense that at the end of the day, the sun was, is going to come out and we do have the queen of cups and there is empathy with her um and there's no fooling there's no fooling saying that oh i meant this when i said that so to speak they try any of that it's just it's gonna fall flat so i just feel that there is a very nurturing positive uh way forward for ukraine it looks like but not so much at all for Russia. It looks like with the tower and the leadership there, they're going to, and the people especially that have been so mindlessly supportive, I think are going to be shell-shocked. I really do. I, I think once this fails, I, I, I just think they're, they're going to be pretty shell-shocked. So I'll, I'll do a reading later on, on Putin with, since it, that makes me then want to have to do a deep dive there and see how, what is going to happen with him. Um, once this, this cycle is over, you know, uh, this invasion, this war, this continued threat that he's been to the world, because it will end. And it is on its way. Um, I still think he's got a little bit of time in there, but it's it's we're I think in the end window for him. All right. If you appreciate these readings, I would appreciate it if you would do me the great favor of give me a thumbs up and um, drop in a little comment, maybe just a wave, even uh, down below. That'd be great. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Happy Mother's Day weekend 2024.